Hey guys, it's Brian from MountainStoneMedia.net. I'm going to you with another web tutorial here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the brand new iTunes 11 and show you a couple new features. Alright, as you can tell, the iTunes 11 is looking a little simpler, a little sleeker, and uh, I like it. I like the new look. We got, so it looks like they have a new font kind of they've been running with. Um, over here to the left, you can scroll through your library, you can scroll through your music, your apps, whatever you've set up in your preferences to show. Um, I have apps. And it looks like, uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and start getting podcasts. I don't know if I have any, but I want to make sure they're going to show up in my library here in my iTunes 11. So yeah, I'm scrolling through my songs here. Looks like I'm categorized by songs, or I can categorize by albums, or I can categorize by artists, or I can categorize by genres and whatever here. Playlists, if I created some playlists. Um, but yeah, let's go back over here to albums. I'm scrolling through the albums here, and as you can tell, Looks like I could listen to um, some Bob Marley here. So I click on the Bob Marley icon, and it shows me all the songs associated with that album. So this is a new little feature here I like, um, the whole little pop-down menu here that iTunes is putting together. So you click on it, and it looks like it comes up with a color scheme dedicated towards the cover art. Um, if your album has cover art, as you can tell, some of mine don't. Um, so yeah, what happens when you look, click on that? It, you know, it looks standard. But Bob Marley here, we have cover art, and it's got all the names of the songs here categorized. I can do shuffle, I can rate it, and this is kind of the new thing here with the new iTunes 11 is this, as you can tell, this little arrow here. This arrow seems to be popping up in all kinds of little places, and it seems to be dedicated to the play next feature. So we don't have anything playing yet. Let's go ahead and get something playing here. Let's play Get Up Stand Up here. Looks like uh, it's asking me if I want to clear my other songs I had saved in my Play Next feature. So I do want to clear those. Let's just go ahead and get Get Up Stand Up playing. As you can tell, it's playing. Um, so yeah, that all looks kind of the standard, what, what you're used to previously. But like I was telling you, we have this new feature in iTunes 11 called Play Next. So you can click this arrow. Um, let's say we want to play Jammin' next. Let's click this arrow. And boom. Add it to play next. Now what you saw, I don't know if you noticed that or not, but it highlighted blue over here in this icon. So if you click it, it's showing you what you have up next. Pretty cool. We got jamming up next. So this is kind of a way for you to choose a little bit of a live playlist while you're listening to iTunes if you want to check out uh, songs from different albums. So let's say that I want to play this icon song, Akon song next. And you know, instead of instead of being in the same Bob Marley folder, I can just we can play now from Bob Marley to a to Akon, you know. So yeah, the play next feature that's uh that's pretty nice. That's pretty new from Apple and from this iTunes 11. And I gotta tell you, I like it. Another really cool feature associated with iTunes 11 is the mini player feature. What you do is you click over here in the upper left start screen here for iTunes. And you can switch to mini player. When I click on that, look, creates a little mini player here, which I can drag it around. And uh, looks like some features here is I can still use my play next. I can, you know, it's just it, I just minimalized it, so it's just sitting over here on my desktop. It's a lot smaller. If I want to crank it back up to full size, just click this little rectangle here, and it goes right back to full size. Um, you know, one of the other features here is uh, that we've noticed is there's a, a way for you to make iTunes 11 look like I, your, some of your old iTunes that you remember. Uh, and it'll actually put that sidebar on the left-hand side. As you can tell, it's not, it's not here anymore. So the simple way to do that is you simply, in a Windows environment, you push Control-S, and boom, your sidebar appears. Uh, you know, as you can tell, that kind of reminds you of, of the older versions of iTunes. Um, some of you may, you know, like this a lot better just because you uh, uh, remember it. If you push Control S again, it goes away, so you're back in your regular iTunes. All right, so there's a couple of tips and tweaks for the uh, for the new iTunes 11, and um, so yeah, hopefully that helps you out a little bit. And if you like what you've seen here, you can check out more tutorials on our website at MountainStoneMedia.net. Thanks for watching, and keep on nerding.